Welcome back, folks. It is 516 on this wonderful Thursday morning. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's jump into the forecast for today. As you're waking up, it is going to be a little bit on the darker side of things because of our moon cycle, but our sunrise is going to come earlier and earlier every day. We're gaining just about two minutes of daylight, and we are expecting some pretty clear skies throughout today, but we do have a chance for some overcast skies to roll on in this afternoon and through the rest of the work week. But getting into our weather headlines, we've got some snow showers in these higher elevation areas more north of us and more east of us and we've got cooler temps expected for the end of the work week but this weekend we're going to have an increase a slow slow increase to bring us closer to our seasonal averages and if we want to get into our current temperatures for this morning on your morning commute we're feeling 21 degrees in Grant Junction 15 in Montrose further east of us we are looking to be a little bit down on the cooler side of things not even a little bit kind of a lot of it we're feeling those four degree temperatures down in Glenwood and Aspen and Gunnison is feeling a nice crisp cool cold negative 16 in Gunnison and throughout the day for us here in these lower valleys we are valleys we are going to increase uh, just about 15 degrees to be closer to our seasonal average but we're still shy about five to eight degrees in both Grand Junction and Montrose a little bit more nationally we do have some cooler temperatures up north of us in Minneapolis Omaha those areas that are a little bit closer to the Great Lakes are due uh, with those cooler temperatures are due to this cold front moving on down from Canada if we get into tracking the cold we'll notice that these the coldest areas again are going to be by those Great Lakes on Friday this more Arctic air is going to start coming on in from Canada but like I said in Colorado here on the western slope we're expecting those temperatures to kind of take a rise as we exit Friday and get into the weekend Saturday these Arctic air is going to move over most of that north central US time so all these northern states are going to take a drop in their temperatures and get quite below their uh, normal seasonal average but our almanac is going to show us that our high today is 33 instead of our typical 40 and on the low end we're looking at 21 instead of our typical 19. Back in 1898 folks way back we were feeling a negative 16 so 21 is not too bad on the low end of things but our overall setup we're in the morning the system is going to aid in some snow over these northern Rockies so we can feel up to six inches of snow over those areas um, steamboat uh, over the, the basically just that border of Colorado and Utah but it's going to move on out and Friday we've got a chance for another round of storms to move on in where those same areas could feel up to two feet of snow accumulation but for us in these lower valleys we're really only expecting maybe a slight bit of some rain throughout the next 24 to 48 hours but folks the beginning of the work week and even late Sunday is where we could be getting a little bit of some more storms moving on into the area and the afternoon hours it's going to continue to aid over those northern Rockies the evening hour it's going to still aid in some chances for snow as it moves on out of Colorado and getting into our radar satellite we'll notice that we're gonna have some clear skies for at least the next uh, couple of hours because it looks like this flow is kind of skipping on over the western slope giving us not too uh, high of some wind speeds we're just gonna keep it on the mild side of things and for the rest of the work week, like I said, some cooler temperatures. The weekend's going to take that uptick in temperatures to get us close to those seasonal averages. And the beginning of the work week has some unsettled weather on the way.